Hey guys, welcome to another Monday Morning Minute here at Green Dynamics. We're here on a beautiful fall day. And speaking of fall, we're gonna to talk to you about fall color and fall planting. So happy fall, y'all. Um, as we just said, we're gonna to talk to you about a little bit of fall color. Over here on my right, we've got beauty berry. And you can see it is kind of beautiful. Beautiful purple berries. From what I hear, you can make jellies and jams out of them. Make sure you look that up on the internet. I don't want anybody uh, writing us that they got sick. Another one of my favorites, also a native, um, oak leaf hydrangea. Yeah, it does look like it's going to sleep for the fall. And that's exactly what it's doing, but you're gonna get that burnished, bronzish, reddish color. Now, one of my absolute favorite favorites for the fall are camellias. Uh, right here, we have a camellia rosa plana. And we've got quite the stock of camellias here for the fall for you. Two main types of camellias that we have, Camellia sasanqua and Camellia japonica. Now the way I keep those two uh, separated in my mind is I like to give them a little kiss. Now I don't mean an actual kiss or the music group for those of you who are more my age, um, but keep it simple, Sally. Um, so sasanqua blooms sooner, it has smaller leaves, and it prefers partial shade to shade. Now, Camellia japonica is gonna have a larger leaf, larger flower, and would definitely prefer full shade. And the japonica is gonna bloom later. It's gonna bloom late fall into winter. All right, moving on around the circle here, uh, directly behind me. Now, this ligustrum is ligustrum sunshine. It doesn't lose its leaves, but it does have a nice fall color and you can contrast that with lots of things. As you can see, it really stands out. You might put that next to a lower petalum or something like that with a nice red leaf. Speaking of red leaves, continuing around the circles, just like we started with natives, we'll finish up with natives. This is Itea Henry's Garnet. You can see the red leaf color, and they do have very bright red stems, especially early spring, and there is a newer variety of this called Little Henry that stays shorter and has smaller leaves and possibly one of the most popular grasses especially because they bloom in the fall is muley grass. You can see it's very wispy, very uh, airy. This is the pink one. There is a somewhat newer white form. And other things you can do in the fall, uh, plant trees. Now you might say why would I do that because it's winter time? Well because even though the tops are going to start stop growing uh, the roots will keep growing. It's also not as hot and you won't have to water them as much. Uh, good trees for fall color would be maples, sweet gums, even bald cypress, and a few other things that you can uh, throw in there would be shumard oaks. And um, since we were calling this, hey, it's happy fall, y'all, don't forget your mums, because mums the word, lots of color there. So thanks again for joining us on another Monday Morning Minute, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.